First up, the Moyer family. They've come from their 200-year-old farm to pitch their line of hand-dipped candy apples. And remember, they must get all the money they ask for or they get nothing. Hello, dragons. Uh, my name is Paul Moyer. Um, we're a fruit farmer from the Niagara Peninsula. This is my mother, Levy Moyer, my daughter, Sabrina Moyer. Today, we are looking for 30% uh, of the company. We're looking for a $300,000 investment from the Dragons. We've got a uh, ninth generation family fruit farm uh, in the Niagara area. And now it uh, looks like we've turned into the king of concessions. Um, today, we're going to be pitching our signature product, which is our uh, gourmet caramel chocolate apples. Before I carry on, I'm going to send you out some uh, samples if you'd like. Sabrina's the ninth generation on, on, the, uh, on the farm. Uh, we've been farming that land since 1799, so 209 years this year. We started doing candy apples approximately eight years ago. We're selling it uh, to some specialty stores in Toronto. It's really good. Um, we've been picked up by the Walmart Super Centers, Sam's Club. Uh, we just broke into the Shoppers Drug Mart. I mean, they're, I want to marry you. These are like so good. They're fantastic. Best damn apple I've ever had. It's really good. Paul, let me understand. We have a real business. What are the revenues? Last year, we did approximately $300,000 in sales. And what's unique about the product? It, is it the process of putting the big apple in the chocolate? The unique part, realistically, is this, a this apple happens to be at a price point where everybody can afford it. The, the people can make a margin on it. They'll retail $9.99 to $12.99. And we've got them sorry, out sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, retail. Stop, please. You said these things retail for $10 to $12 a piece? Absolutely. A single apple yeah, wrapped would, in chocolate? I would believe that. Absolutely. Yeah. I would yes. believe that. So it's great packaging, it's a great product, it's the best I've ever tasted. It's fantastic. It's not proprietary. What do you need my $300,000 for? You've got a nice little business here. The reason I'm here in front of the Dragons is agriculture has been taking a bit of a hit lately, and a lot of people haven't been investing. A lot of banks aren't looking to invest per se in agriculture. Um, we're looking to expand. Right now, I can't go after the larger markets that's, uh, that have been after me. Uh, the biggest thing after not getting a sale is getting a sale and not being able to fulfill that sale. So my, my biggest concern is I don't want to go to uh, Walmart USA or, or so on. They order something that I can't deliver. Paul's problem isn't getting orders, it's meeting demand. He desperately needs a factory. And he's willing to put what matters most on the line, the 200-year-old family farm. I know that when the dragons come to the table, they're like, what do you bring to the table? Mm -hmm. I bring A, a good product, B, I bring sales, C, I've got a three and a half acre piece of pro a property where I'd put the facility up and I'd bring that to the table. And what's that land worth? Approximately $300,000. The Dragons think backing his offer with prime farmland will sweeten the deal, but is it enough? I think 75% of people that look at this will take it. It's, it's a no-brainer. Okay, so I'm thinking. You guys go ahead. Now, the one thing I want to bring up is before I'd be interested, we'd have to make a move here on that 30%. That 30% doesn't do anything for me. I'd rather be closer to 50 or at 50%. I see. Kevin, are you debating? I'm not there yet. Robert, wow. Brett. I think I'd like to own this business. But Robert's bid is about to completely change the game. I'm going to do something remarkable for me, Paul. I really admire your story, the family business, and I really feel for you. Uh, I think you taking money and somebody taking 50% of your business is unfair to you. I'll lend you up to 300,000 uh, based on receivables, because that's all you really need. You just need a loan. I'll lend you the money as you need it. Oh, oh, wait, wait, what's, whoa, what's whoa, whoa, you're gonna whoa. get? And I'll charge you a fair interest rate. I think you're an honest guy. I think your family's been doing this for a long time. I think Sabrina will keep doing it. I'd like to see that note, Robert. Yeah, I'd like to see it too. 
I just want to help him out. I just You're think all partner, he needs, then. I just think he needs a loan right now. I'm going to start to cry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's about as good a deal that I've, that I've yeah, heard. Yeah, listen really careful to what he's offering. You know what? I think people yeah. work so hard in this country to get ahead. I'd love to pillage you, Paul, but unfortunately, I just can't. I admire what you've done. I, di I disagree with you yeah, there. I, I think there's too. some more that, that we have to look at as a company and a group that we could bring to the table for Paul to get better. He's working, I, I understand where he's coming from. I'm not gonna change names. I, I Listen, think I just wanna sing Kumbaya and hug everybody. This is wonderful. I'm so happy I wanna give you all my money for free. Not, uh, I'm out. So I guess I should go back and see between the two. Wait, Brett still, Brett might have an even different offer. I think I see more value in the business than, than others might. But I think the value add for someone like Jim is greater as a shareholder. I'm out. Paul must decide between two very different deals. A $300,000 loan from Robert, fine print to be worked out later, or partner with Jim and his billion dollar food empire, but give up 50% of the farm. Well, you've been in business for a long time. What's your thoughts? I'm not so sure. I, I, I still like to have it in the family. Um, what do you think, Sabrina? Yeah, but I don't really know, because... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great. I'll go. I... I, I obviously, I believe in the product. Um, and the land's been in the, the family for hundreds of years. Um, what are you saying, big guy? Maybe I think my mom would love to, to see the land stay in the family as long as possible. So I think maybe we'd like to do something with, with Robert. Congratulations. Well, new term. <laughs> Thank you very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Great business. It. Thank you. Really admire it. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. You're a wonderful Thank you very much. Thank you. You know, in some ways, you have offended the rules of capitalism <laughs> here today. You've never had a lucky break in your life that you couldn't explain, that got you to that next level. Why is that so wrong? We're pretty pleased. We, we got the deal without giving anything away. So uh, I don't know if, if we could ask for anything more.